Welcome, I am your host, Sick. sick. Thankfully, we can't get people sick through cameras. Not yet. But actually, I am sick, so if I sound a little, uh, <sighs> that's why. Y'all seen this? Roses are red. <laughs> Violets are blue. <laughs> Or maybe this? The problem is this. I can eat like five of these back to back. No, on everything I love. I just got rid of 13 pounds. No, this is not the right time. No, I know. It's, 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 it's all right. It's all right. Protein. Protein. It's okay. Protein. Protein. Or maybe this one. Let me get into that spinal position. Oh, my God. That was 46 years. Oh, my God. I was saving that one for you, big dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah uh, yes, and that brings me to the topic of this video. Thank you, Mr. Khaled, for the alley-oop. <laughs> Basically, chiropractic. I think it's a messy subject to do online. From over-sexualizing people to telling people how to do it. It's, it's bad. bad. Let's get into it. First things first. Viral video. Old lady with mega scoliosis getting her back cracked. <gasps> Ow! has a massive scoliosis that's been cooking up for lots and lots of years. Yeah. Oh! Beautiful. Last... Good. Ow! Oh man, is it not great to have that online. How many people who are not that smart are going to see that and go, I should do that to my grandmother! Or mother, or father, or grandfather. Anybody they know who might have back or bone pain. And you might be thinking, Nobody's that stupid. I've heard people ask, how long is a tattoo gonna last? Or think they can make this turn. Yes, that's my car. Why would you do that? How do you think you can make that turn? Sorry, sorry. I'm just sick and my car got hit. So I'm, uh, I'm having a ball. Having a great old time. But what the hell? Why do you think it's okay to post this online? You use a broomstick to, you know, wedge it in there and, uh, no more hip pain. Everybody wants to get rid of hip pain if they're above the age of 18, you know? That everybody wants to sleep better no matter who they are. You ever just wake up after eight hours of sleep and think, I did not get good sleep, even though you literally slept as much as you possibly could? <laughs> yeah, me too. Everybody wants to sleep better. So putting that in a video means you want people to try this thing that you're showing, that you have given zero directions on how to get into the correct position, how not to hurt yourself, and why not to do it for certain people. You didn't give any instructions. Zero. zero. <gasps> Ow. You know what's gonna happen? Something terrible. Hey dad, I found this thing online that uh might be able to help with that hip pain you've been dealing with. There's no way you could help with my hip pain, son. It has been an endless cataract of destruction in my life. I got into a divorce because of this pain and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh yeah? Oh my god, we have to try this. All right, am I in the right position, buddy? Uh, I, th I think so. You just, it looks like you just have to twist. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh. Oh. oh god. Oh my god, that, that, yeah. You were right down there? Well, son, I can't feel my leg anymore, probably because it's disconnected from my hip. Let's go to Denny's to celebrate. Woo! Denny's, the restaurant of America. So yeah, showing this to people online is not, it's not a great thing to do because then people who are inexperienced in it are going to try it. Just like animal chiropractics. What? Why are you showing this to people, especially children, who are bigger than the animals they have, who are not smart enough to understand that they're not supposed to do this? Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I talked a little fast. Basically, you can't show this online without warning labels or something saying, hey, don't do this, I'm a trained professional. Because, oh my god, just imagining the kid who sees this and goes, well, my dog looks a little sad and, uh, he, he uh, maybe this would make him a happier dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, do it. it. They're, they're gonna, they're gonna hurt their dog or worse. 
And that's not something you want on your hands, Buster. That's crazy that you think posting this online without any warning labels or anything is a, a good, good idea. idea. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> there's some with snakes and some with cats and some with kittens and puppies. and It's just disaster waiting to happen. I'm, sh I'm sure it's done bad things everywhere. You just can't sue him because he just posted a video and you're the idiot who tried it. So, do you know what's also extremely gross and weird? Posting this. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, now, yes, I'm sure she's getting the help she needs. That'll last for maybe a few days. But the whole point of it is to over-sexualize the client that this person has for views. And we all can see that. It's gross. gross. <laughs> There's a lot of this, and I'm not going to show any more examples because I don't want to feed into this. But wow, there is so much over-sexualization in the chiropractic community because that's what gets the views. And it's so easy to just put somebody face down and pop their back so that they jiggle a bit and then million views. Because I don't know if you know... The internet's a horny ass place. And people are gross. So it's gonna work. Why are you exploiting that, you gross little goblin gremlin guy? Okay? I don't like it. There's a lot of stuff online like this that fosters some kind of you should try this at home point of view. From chiropractic to another bone related thing I found called bone smashing. Oh my god, what is bone smashing, you ask? If you do ask that, you're one of the sane ones. You should subscribe. Be part of this sane community. Basically, it's this. Can hitting yourself in the face with a hammer make you drop dead gorgeous? Bone smashing is the internet's most dangerous DIY beauty trend. The idea is to promote bone growth by exposing the face to repeated blunt trauma. Its proponents claim it works because of Wolf's Law, a 19th century medical theory that states that bones adapt to the stress they're subjected to. So, in theory, the more you hit yourself, the better you'll look. All right, what? what? Just hit yourself in the face with a hammer a few times. No, don't do that. Why is this some kind of beauty standard thing that I could have put in the video with my uh, cancel tilt video that I made? If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Basically, this is part of that whole realm of, hey, you don't like how you look? Maybe, Maybe hit yourself in the face with a hammer hand. community. Basically, it doesn't work. And it, it could, there's a possibility it could work, but one, self-harm is bad. And two, the bone formations that grow after you break your face a little bit might actually not be a straight line. Actually, almost 98% of the time, they won't actually fit the curvature of your face. Because when a bone fixes itself, it does it in the way it finds best. Not in the way that looks best for you as a person, because it doesn't care. It's fixing the bone that you, you broke. broke, you imbecile. And yes, bone smashing is obviously bad, but I have a controversial opinion. I think chiropractic is bad because it only involves relief for a short period of time. Your lifestyle is not going to change because you went to the chiropractor one time. That's not going to happen. What does happen is you keep going back to a company that keeps wanting you to go back to them to pay them a lot of money over and over again. A lot. And that's the point. It's not like a dentist where, yes, you have to go back and you should keep going back. Chiropractic doesn't really help you. Yoga does, which you can do for free. So does working out and keeping your body in a good shape and trying to keep a good posture, which I personally do myself. Going to a chiropractor, it's almost exactly like popping your knuckles. Short-term relief that you can do in the next hour or so. I'm sure there are health benefits that help people with terrible bone deformations or injuries and other stuff like that, but the average Joe is not going to have positive outlooks for the rest of their life after one trip to the chiropractor. It's just not gonna happen. I've seen it not happen to family members. You know, controversial opinion, but I have basis for it. So, so that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's always, always good. good. You know what's not good? Over-sexualizing people and telling people to break their face. There's a lot of stuff online like this where it's just, hey, you should try this if you have this pain or this desire to look better or all of that. You are beautiful. Don't break your face bones. And that's the, that's the craziest thing. There's no real stopping this from happening, obviously. And people are going to keep trying this when they see it online because like beauty standard TikTok and all this stuff uh, online about toxic traits like wanting to look perfect or wanting to always be the healthiest and wanting to be the skinniest or the strongest or anything like that. There will always be parts of those communities that are too much, like the chiropractic and bone smashing, throwing up every time you eat because you want to be skinny. There's just so much of it. And like I said, there's nothing much we can do about that. It's going to be there. 
and it's going to keep happening. But you, watching this right now, can stop yourself from being enthralled by the idea that these things try to give to you. You are great the way you are, and you should be the one to find out what's best for you. Not letting people online tell you that hitting yourself in the face with a hammer is gonna make you happier. It's not gonna make you happier. There's just so much online these days trying to change you in a terrible way. So don't let them. Also, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. That's so many people. I've never been in a room with 1,000 people. That's bigger than my senior class. That's so many people. Th thank you guys so much. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, you should. I'll, I put out three videos a week, and, uh, I might not be funny, but I'm consistent. Also, I got these two little guys back here for 1,000 subs. They were gifts, and I'm, uh, happy to have them. I'm happy to have you. Let's keep growing together. I'm really happy to have you guys. I hope I can keep satisfying your urge for content that is long form and not short form and stuff like that. You know, holding your attention span, which, by the way, you have a great attention span for making it this far. It's really awesome. Good job. And have a good morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. Later.